this is actually the answer to part two. It's going to be this. All you need to do right now is plug into the uh, plug into the equation, the answer right there, or uh, the value. So you know the value, the starting point of the streetcar, which is 20, and you know the acceleration of the streetcar, uh, uh, which is 0.9 meters. And what you're going to find is that it's going to turn out to be six meters. This whole thing is going to be exactly six meters uh, per second. So this is going to be six meters, 6.0 meters per second. That's going to be the velocity of the person. All right. But we're not going to plug this, this uh, value in yet for anything else. We're just going to uh, this six meters in yet. But that's going to be the answer to part two. Now, part one, just going back to this. Uh, how long did the person run? So how can we use this V person to figure out uh, how long the person ran? Now, if we take right here, how long the per we can use, there's, a ti there's an easy equation right here for, for time. Um, because, and we want to use this equation right here because we'll know the velocity of the person because it's the same velocity as the car and we'll know the acceleration. Uh, so now we can find the time it took for that to happen. Um, so let's just use this equation right here and plug these values into that and we'll get a nice easy answer. So I guess you could use that six right now, but I'm just gonna use the algebra. So using this equation right now, I'm gonna solve for part one. Uh, and that's gonna be, uh, let's see right here. So we have uh, the time it takes to catch, T catch. So let's use black, T catch. is going to equal uh, the V car, V car, uh, over A. All right, so we know V car equals V person. We've just established that at T catch. So we can plug this value in here, but what we're gonna do instead, we're gonna use this quantity, it's going to be 2x0 car, that's a position of the car, times a, all right, square root that, all over a, and you should find that the time it takes is 6.7 seconds, right. Now, what else do we need to find? The last part of this problem is, is this. It says, how far did the person run? So now we just need to find the S of the person. So we know the V of the person. We know the time it took for that person to catch. So we can easily use it using this equation over here. We can solve um, using a very similar method we just used right there. So let's do that. So we have the S of the person is the V of the person, which we just found out was 2x zeros of car times A. And we're going to multiply that by the time now. So that will be t catch. And you could, again, use this right here if you wanted to. Um, what you could also do is use this final result right here and plug it into here. You could do that. Either one's fine. Um, and you'll find that the speed of the, not the speed, S, maybe think of speed, but it's actually just the position. So let's do the position of this, it would be just 40 meters. All right, so let's check for sig figs here. Uh, only one sig fig. So in both cases, oh my God, it's only one sig fig. So this would make this, oh, this would make this, um, that would make it, one sig fig here, so that would actually equal seven seconds. <laughs> uh, this would still be 40, and this would just be six without any without any other zero behind it. Just six meters per second, and this would be seven seconds. Okay, and that could still be 40. All right, so those are the final answers. Um, <laughs> this is a convoluted way of manipulating equations. Um, I hope you're able to follow this. It would be very difficult 
to do this on your own. If you're able to do even part of this on your own, trying to man manipulate these equations, then you did a really good job. Um, but if you could just at least follow how I plugged these equations in to solve um, for the velocity here, then uh, you're doing well as well. Um, if you have any questions, do email me. These are due on Tuesday, not on Monday. So you have an extra day to work on these. So you have an extra day in class. If you want to, you can ask me about these questions. So I hope it went all, all, all right, and I'll see you in class. Okay, bye.